In the second part of the project, we are going to create a Quartus project, next synthesize our Verilog module, and connect the design to the FPGA pins. After the synthesis process is done, we are going to program the DE1 SOC board that has an Altera Cyclone 5 FPGA. This is what we are going to see when we implement the project on our FPGA board. When cell equals zero, then you will see on the LEDs the value driven from the switches from the bus A. Otherwise, if cell equals one, you will see on the LEDs the value on the switch bus B. Pretty simple, right? Please remember that this project can be replicated on any Altera board, depending on your number of switches and number of LEDs. Even if you don't have a board, you can watch at this project and gain pressure's knowledge about FPGA design and verification. Let's create now the Quartus project. We open Quartus. Next, we click on New Project. Next, we move in the Send folder. We write here project. Next, we browse for the Verilog file. We select only the design. Next. And then I select my FPGA board from over here. If you don't have it over here, you need to write here your FPGA type. Here you don't have to change anything. Finish. We now compile the design. And we see that we get an error. This is because we need to select our top level entity. We click here on files, click here, and then right click and select as top level entity. Then we start all over again. How fast this process takes depends on your computer configuration. We have some warnings over here, but we don't care about them for this simple combinational circuit. So as we can see, the synthesis process finished successfully. Now we need to connect our design with the FPGA pins. We go to Simons, Pin Planner, and then we need to connect our inputs and our outputs with the switches and with the LEDs. After you finish, your pins should look like this. If you have a different board, they should be connected differently. Let's now program the FPGA. We press one time auto detect just to be sure. Select this. Okay. Yes, for the override. And next we click on the FPGA device, click on change file, go here and select project.sof. After this we click this and press start. This process was thoroughly explained in project number one. After you program the board, you can test your circuit in the following manner. For now, cell is zero and A and B are also zero. Let's make A equal one. You can see how when cell is zero, then the value of A is continuously driven to the LEDs. Now let's make cell equal one. 
So now the value of the B bus gets driven to the LEDs. This is how a multiplexer works. Easy, right? Congratulations! You finished the multiplexer to LEDs FPGA project. I have a challenge for you. Please change N to 1, add two C and D ports, change the width of the select bus, and redo the simulation and the synthesis for a 4 to 1 multiplexer. Have fun!